Stories About the Baby by Marshall P. Wilder, Edison Records. Have you ever noticed that proud father or mother, when they trot out little Charlie or Willie, as the case may be, tell us them bright remarks that they made? Them very bright and very funny. The youth falls utterly flat. The other day, a friend of mine sent a child to the drugstore. She would in said, uh, My mother sent me for some brown still. What kind, dear? Brown still. We have a great variety of brown stills. Now, what kind do you want? Antibilious? No, sir. My uncle's sick. Out here in the country, a friend of mine got a child out of bed at 4 o'clock in the morning. Sent her down the drug lake. She ran the bell. The man looked out the window and said, Who's there? I am. What do you want? My mother sent me for three cents worth of party garlic. He said, Do you suppose I'm going to get up for three cents? <laughs> I had to get up for nothing. While I was in the city recently, I received a letter from my wife. Baby's better and much brighter than she used to be. Hoping you are the same. I'm your loving wife. Were you ever were sent by your wife to the store to match something like the sample? I went one day to the store to match a piece of baby blue ribbon like the sample. I had about as much chance as a glass of milk at a barkeeper's picnic. I stepped up to the floor walker, pulled his skirt, and said, where can I get a piece of baby blue ribbon? Uh, baby blue? We are all out of baby blue. Won't a uh, pink do as well? I said, I don't care whether it's pink or blue, so long as it matches the baby. He rolled his eyes and said, well, uh, we're doing all our best babies now, up at this, a smashing bow right here in the neck. I said this baby hasn't got a neck as yet. He's only three days old and rather short on neck. He fixed his Marcel wave and said, Well, uh, walk this way. I said if I do, I'll get arrested. He led me to the ribbon counter where he spoke to a female behind the counter who was doing physical culture with a piece of gum. Bloody, show this gentleman what we have at Baby Blue. We ain't got no Baby Blue. I never buy. Show it to him just the same. Then he left me with Clarice. He snapped at me several times, then said, uh, How much do you want? I didn't know how much I wanted. A woman never tells you how much to get. Only to get it, and you do get it, and you get it good. I said, I don't know how much I want. He said, do you want it for yourself? I said, now, do I look like a candidate for the baby blue ribbon class? I want enough to tie a smashing bowl right here for the neck off of me. He said, why don't you send your wife in? I said, I'll send the baby in. He ought to be walking by next Thursday. He's had me walking since last Saturday. Oh, she said, you want it for the baby. Why didn't you say so in the first place? I said I did, but they didn't have it in the first place. And she said I didn't sell it there, and added, I'd have you understand, I don't stand behind this counter all day for nothing. Well, I said, if you do, you're overpaid. Well, it took me eight hours to find a piece of baby blue ribbon at the sample, and when I'd walk home, proud to think I'd bought something for the baby, my wife said, why, Marshall. I don't want it for the baby. I want it to tie up bundles with.